everybody. How are we all this week? Are we well? I hope so. That's it, lots. I've got my scarf on this week because it is getting chillier now that it's autumn. Can you believe that? I don't know if I can. <laughs> We've been doing this since spring, spring, summer and autumn. Wow. <laughs> now, so welcome to Book Bug. Zero to five on Wednesday. Now, what week are we on? Does anybody know? Do I know? <laughs> I think we're on week 22, everybody. Now, let's tap our knees. Put that down. <laughs> and keep the beat. And we're going to sing the hello song. So after three, join in with me. One, two, three. Hello. Tickle, tickle their tummies, tickle, 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 tickle
tickle, tickle their tummies early in the morning. Eeyoo! Well, Big Bug, is that us ready to take on the day? Not quite. Why, Big Bug, whatever else do we have to do? Uh -huh. We have to go around the mulberry bush, boys and girls. Now, what do we do today? I think we might put our shoes on, our jacket, and I think we need our gloves and our hat. Join in after three. One, two, three. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a bright and sunny morning. This is the way we put on our shoes, put on our shoes, put on our shoes. This is the way we put on our shoes on a bright and sunny morning. This is the way we button our coat, button our coat, button our coat. This is the way we button our coat on a bright and sunny morning. This is the way we put on our gloves, put on our gloves, put on our gloves. This is the way we put on our gloves on a bright and sunny morning. This is the way we put on our hat, put on our hat, put on our hat. This is the way we put on our hat on a bright and sunny morning. Come on, here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a bright and sunny morning. Whee! Come on, boys and girls, get on somebody's knee because we're heading to today's storybook. But first, we're going on horsey horsey. Come on, then. One, two, three. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Give me up, we're homeward bad. Come on. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your wheels go clippity clop. Your tail go swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bad. We're nearly there, aren't we? <gasps> but first, let's go in our rowing boat. We'll get there surely faster in our rowing boat, won't we, Big Bug? Okay then. So get into twos, or if you've got your teddy, you can do it together like me and Big Bug. Now, I think we're going to see a polar bear, a crocodile, and a lion. After three, boys and girls. One, two, three. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Oh, I think it's bringing us the 
shoot that tree as hard as I could. Don't hate the apples. Mmm, they were good. Now, boys and girls, I just had an apple, but I'm still hungry. So, let's have a banana. And I'm going to stand up for this one. It's banana shoe night, boys and girls. So, up on your feet. Big Bug's going to watch. Bananas unite. One, two, three. Bananas unite. Bananas split. Go bananas, go, go bananas. Bananas to the left. Bananas to the right. Peel your banana. Mm. Take a bite. Yum, yum. Do it again. Okay. Bananas unite. Bananas split. Go bananas, go, go bananas. Bananas to the left, bananas to the right. Peel your banana. Mm. Take a bite. Yum, yummy. Well, Big Bug, have I eaten everything? Yes, apples and bananas. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So, boys and girls, hands up if you're happy and you know it. Woohoo! If you're happy and you know it, after three, one, two, three. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are! If you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are! Is that right, Big Bug? 
Well, he won't disturb our story session. Don't worry. Gather round. Listening ears on. Shall we see what today's storybook is? Okay. Bigfoot's going to have a look. <gasps> today's story is this. One Fox, a counting book thriller, written and illustrated by Kate Reed. One famished fox. Two sly eyes. Three plump hens. Four padding paws. Five snug eggs. Seven knocks at the door. Eight beady eyes. Nine flying feathers. Ten sharp teeth. One hundred angry hands and... One frightened fox wee. No hens or foxes were harmed in the making of this book. This edition, published in 2020, was read by Julia Laurie Morrison with permission from Two Hoots of Pan Macmillan. Ooh. Hello, Bookbug. Did you enjoy today's storybook? What was it about? <gasps> was it scary? A little? A little bit? I don't think you were scared for boys and girls, were you? <gasps> in autumn time, you might just see a little fox scurry out at night time to say hello. <laughs> that might actually happen. Mm. Well boys and girls, our next song could only be five little foxes jumping in a bed. And Hen called the doctor and the doctor said, so you know the song, it's five little monkeys, but it's five little foxes just now. Join in with me, up on your feet. One, two, three. Five little foxes jumping on a bed. One fell off E and bumped his head. Hen called the doctor and the doctor said, No more foxes jumping on the bed. That left four little foxes jumping on the bed. One fell off E and bumped his head. Hen called the doctor and the doctor said, No more foxes jumping on the bed. That left three little foxes jumping on the bed. One fell off wee and bumped his head. Hen called the doctor and the doctor said, No more foxes jumping on the bed. That left two little foxes jumping on the bed. One fell off wee and bumped his head. Hen called the doctor and the doctor said, no more foxes jumping on a bed. That left one little fox jumping on the bed. He fell off wee and bumped his head. Hen called the doctor and the doctor said, No more foxes.
says jumping on a bed. Well, I'm already pooped. After jumping on the bed, Big Bug, I'm going to get a seat. Now, do you know a song called Mary Had a Little Lamb? Well, we're not going to sing it. <laughs> no, boys and girls, we're going to sing a song to the same tune as Mary Had a Little Lamb. And it's called Fox Has Got a Long Red Tail. So just join in with me, okay? Um, I'll sing it first of all, and second time round, you come in with me, okay? Just follow me. One, two, three. Fox has got a long red tail, long red tail, long red tail. Fox has got a long red tail, shake that tail right now. Fox has got a pointy nose, pointy nose, pointy nose. Fox has got a pointy nose, wiggle that nose right now. Fox has got two pointy ears, pointy ears, pointy ears. Fox has got two pointy ears, twitch those ears right now. Fox has got two bright eyes, bright eyes, bright eyes. Fox has got two bright eyes, blink those eyes right now. Blinky. Fox has got two long sharp teeth, Long sharp teeth, long sharp teeth. Fox has got long sharp teeth. <gasps> Bite those teeth right now. <sighs> okay, you got it? So join in because what we're doing is we're describing a fox. A fox has a long red tail. He has a pointy nose, two pointy ears, two bright eyes and long sharp teeth. Boys and girls, they do, but they're very cute as well. So after three, join in with me. One, two, three. Fox has got a long red tail, long red tail, long red tail. Fox has got a long red tail, shake that tail right now. Fox has got a pointy nose, pointy nose, pointy nose. Fox has got a pointy nose, Wiggle that nose right now. Fox has got two pointy ears, pointy ears, pointy ears. Fox has got two pointy ears, twitch those ears right now. Fox has got two bright eyes, bright eyes, bright eyes. Fox has got two bright eyes, blink those eyes right now. What else does he have? Fox has got long teeth, long sharp teeth, long sharp teeth. Fox has got long sharp teeth. Bite those teeth right now. Har, 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 har. But what is he eating, Big Bug? Well, I don't know. Maybe a potato from my neighbor's field. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, Big Bug, in autumn time, people do harvest potatoes from the field. Yes, just like the noise earlier from the combine harvester, we cut the wheat and pull up the potatoes and the foxes come out at night, sometimes the daytime too. Well, Big Bird, what else can we sing? I know what else happens in autumn, do you? Well, it gets chilly, doesn't it? You need your scarf, sometimes you need your gloves. But why is that? Well, the wind sometimes is blowing all around just before the leaves come off. Our next song is a little poem and it's called Autumn Wind. I'll read it out and join in with me afterwards, okay? Autumn wind begins to blow, coloured leaves fall fast and slow, twirling, whirling all around, till at last they touch the ground. So if you join in with me. Autumn wind begins to blow, Coloured leaves fall fast and slow, twirling, whirling all around, till at last they touch the ground. I love seeing the leaves fall down. I like to see the leaves change from green to red and yellow. Watch out, 
this autumn. It's lovely. Lots of different colours. But I know something else that likes to come out in autumn. Mm -hmm. Creepy crawlies and the rain. So we're going to sing Incy Wincy Spider, everybody. So let me see your Incy Wincy's. After three. One, two, three. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water puff boat. <laughs> Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider came out climbed up the spout again. I don't know how I could forget that one. I'm so sorry, Incy Wincy. Shall we do it again? Okay. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Bye bye, Wincy Wincy. Yes, I know, I'll get it right next time. Well, so the leaves change colour, and I don't know if you know what happens after the rain comes down. It doesn't just flush out Incy Wincy from the drain pipe, no. What does it do, Bookbug? Wee! What does that mean, Bookbug? Wee! Do you know what happens after the rain? Wee! Is that a rainbow book bag? Yay! <laughs> well, I can sing a rainbow. Can you? We'll do it a couple of times over. Let's see if we can get all those colours in order. <laughs> One, two, three. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your ears, listen with your eyes, and sing everything you see. Sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your ears, listen with your eyes and sing everything you see. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Come on everybody! Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your ears, listen with your eyes and sing everything you see. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green. Purple and orange and blue I can sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow Sing a rainbow too Well, what a lovely song Shall we say goodbye to the rainbow boys and girls? Bye bye rainbow! No, but what else is our next song for today? <gasps> can you clap your hands? We can sing a rainbow but can you clap your hands? Our next song is clap, clap, clap your hands. And then it's pat, pat, pat your knees. And then it's stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Then it's blink, blink, blink your eyes. And then it's wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your ears. And then we go clap, clap, clap our hands again. Does that make sense? <laughs> Join in with me. One, two, three. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Come on, tap your knees. Tap, tap, tap your knees, tap your knees together. Tap, tap, tap your knees, tap your knees together. Let's stomp our feet. 
stomp, stomp, stomp our feet, stomp our feet together. Stomp, stomp, stomp our feet, stomp our feet together. Now let's blink our eyes. Blink, blink, blink your eyes, blink your eyes together. Blink, blink, blink your eyes, blink your eyes together. Let me see your ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears together. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears together. Come on everybody, let's clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Well done everybody. So we can sing a rainbow and we can clap our hands, we can stomp our feet, we can blink our eyes, we can wiggle our ears. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! But what was today's storybook about? Let's try and remember. A fox. Now, do you know a song called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, Turn Around? I know a song called Foxy Loxy, Turn Around. It's exactly the same, but instead of Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, it's Foxy Loxy. So boys and girls, join in with me. We'll do it twice. I'll do it first time so that you get to know the words, but I think you'll know them. And then you'll join in with me. One, two, three. Foxy Loxy, turn around. Foxy Loxy, touch the ground. Foxy Loxy, Reach up high, Foxy Loxy, touch the sky. Foxy Loxy, bend down low. Foxy Loxy, touch your toes. Foxy Loxy, go to bed. Foxy Loxy, rest your head. Foxy Loxy, say good night. Foxy Loxy, turn out the light. Got it? Okay, join me and Foxy Loxy. Foxy Loxy, turn around. Foxy Loxy, touch the ground. Foxy Loxy, reach up high. Foxy Loxy, touch the sky. Foxy Loxy, bend down low. Foxy Loxy, touch your toes. Foxy Loxy, Go to bed, Foxy Loxy, rest your head. Foxy Loxy, say good night. Foxy Loxy, turn out the light. Well, boys and girls, shh. Foxy Loxy's gone to bed. Does that mean it's nearly time for you to go to bed? It does, boys and girls. So we are going to sing a song well, the nights are drawing in, it's darker, and we can see the moon and the stars at night time so much more clearly, can't we? Well, I know a lovely slow song to sing at night time, and it's called I Can See the Moon. So I'm going to cuddle Big Bug. If you've got a teddy, or you can give somebody a cuddle right now, and we'll sit together going like this. And it's called I, I See the Moon. And we'll sing it after three. One, two, three. I see the moon and the moon sees me Down through the leaves of the old oak tree Oh, let the light that shines on me Shine on the one I love I see the moon and the moon sees me Down through the leaves of the old oak tree Oh, that the light that shines on me Shine on the one I love Now, is your teddy almost asleep? Are you almost asleep, Bootbug? Oh, yes, Bootbug is getting sleepy. In which case, I'm going to give Bootbug an extra special cuddle as I hold him on my knee and we're going to sing Ali Bally together, boys and girls, after three. One, two, three. Ali Bali, Ali Bali B. 
sitting on your mommy's knee, waiting for a wee bobby to buy some cooter's candy. Ali Bali, Ali Bali Bee, sitting on your mommy's knee, waiting for a wee bobby to buy some cooter's candy. What's that big bag you're pointing at the big bug bag? Why ever? Shall we go and find out? I think I know why Big Bug wants me to go in the Big Bug bag. Do you? Oh! Hello! Who am I looking for? Am I looking for someone? Dee, 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 dee. I hope I am looking for someone. Where could that someone be, boys and girls? Big Bug, are you sure that someone's in this bag? She is! Can you guess? Twinkle, twinkle, everybody! <laughs> now, boys and girls, let me see your twinkle, twinkles! We're going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star twice through. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Books 
from now through autumn and winter, possibly until spring. I always said I would continue with this until we can resume going into the library for book bag. And I'm not certain when that will be. Hopefully it'll be soon. I do think that. I hope so. But we don't know. So I'm going to continue doing it. Now as some of you will know, I used to deliver Big Bug at Stonehaven Library and I'm currently on maternity leave. I have a decision to make there, but regardless of that, I will continue doing Big Bug here at the Childlike Reader. One change will happen, okay. I'm going to continue doing Big Bug once a week and that time is going to be on Thursdays and it's going to be a Big Bug for everyone. It's not just for preschoolers, it's not just for babies, it's book bug for everyone. Well, up to school age, okay? And, well, adults can join in too. <laughs> I think they always do. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to release each episode every week by half ten on Thursdays. And we're still going to count the weeks. But before that all starts, next week, book bug has a very special thing to do, doesn't he? Yes, you do. Bookbug's making his very first trip to the Isle of Harris! Yay! <laughs> so, there will be no Bookbug either on Wednesday next week, the 30th of September, or on Thursday next week, the 1st of October, because Bookbug is on holiday! Yay! <laughs> now, you won't miss out what I'm going to do. I won't be able to film because I don't know how good the internet is over there. <laughs> but also, Big Bug needs a rest! I'm going to share maybe some video clips, just mini ones, of Big Bug having a good time on the Isle of Harris and maybe some pictures too of his travels over there. So if you follow Big Bug and the Childlike Reader on Instagram and on Facebook, then you can watch Big Bug's travels on Harris! Yay! But that's next week, okay? Um, and week 23 will start on Thursday the 8th, I think it's the 8th, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's definitely that following week, Thursday the 8th of October. Okay, I've said all I'm saying. Now the shed is still going to feature, but it might be inside because it's autumn. <laughs> Thank you so much for following me so far. And I do hope that you can continue. And remember, all the future episodes will be watchable whenever it's convenient for you as I know some of you are at nursery and play school too. Well, Big Bug, after that, all that's left to say is goodbye from Big Bug, everybody, and goodbye from me. Have a fabulous couple of weeks, and I'll show you what we're doing next week. Bye.